So, condition overload. The melee mod that is a staple in many melee builds, especially elemental based ones that apply a whole bunch of status, increases the damage you do per status that affects the enemy. Now one thing to take into consideration is that if your attack applies a status, your damage doesn't get increased on that attack. So if I attack an enemy that has no status effects on it, and that first attack puts say corrosive on them i don't get a bonus from condition overload it's the follow-up attack that takes into consideration the status that is applied another thing to also note is that condition overload can increase the damage of damage over time such as slash or fire now the rarity of condition overload is obscene it is a 0.02 percent chance to drop from the Drekar Butcher and the Drekar Butchers will only spawn on the planet Uranus so if you want to farm it take a Necros maybe a Hydroid and go do some survival or some interception take many well take another three people with you as well because of course the more people in your party the more enemies are going to spawn more efficient your farm is now if you kill a, a Drakkar butcher and you get 80 endo or the ice spring mod congratulations it could have been condition overload but it wasn't you can also transmute to get the mod as well which is what I did personally I've got three of this mod from transmuting and only two to drop so condition overload works well with some certain builds and a certain warframe that's near and dear to my heart being Excalibur Umbra so you can put the damn thing on the exalted blade and then of course I've got my three elemental mods that go into the element that I'm getting from my energy color that is coming from chromatic blade it's a whole bunch of words for a whole bunch of damage so if we go out here simulate take my blade out there we go, now I've got my blast and my corrosive, it is pretty dumb. Now one thing to take into consideration is corrosive is stripping armor from the target, allowing me to do more damage, but blast as an element actually counts twice into condition overload, so effectively I'm doing three times condition overload in the damage calculation. So the whole point of this video isn't actually to stroke the massive ego of condition overload. Everybody knows about it. It's Cryotra. The Sentinel weapon that came with Fortuna. Now, Cryotra has a base status chance of 35% and built in cold. Now, the cold is listed on a weapon, which means you can combine it. Combine? Which means you can combine it with three other elemental mods. So, uh, you can get radiation and fire or corrosive blast or gas and mag on the Cryotra with only three elemental mods, such as shown here. I have radiation and fire here. So, because this is also a beam weapon, the status chance, I'm not too sure if this is status per second or per tick. The, the, the status chance of the weapon is 100%. I also have my punch through listed on here. I'm stack punch through up to 4.3. The reload of this weapon is pretty bad. I think it was 4 seconds base reload. Yep, so I've got primed fast hands on there. Continuous misery. So if something gets tagged by a character and it gets its status effects and I don't know about it, I'd rather they linger a little bit longer for me, so status duration helps. And then I had absolutely no idea what to do. One thing to also point out is that, where is it? There's some, is it the Sinister Reach doesn't work. I tested this uh, with Carrier and Carrier began attacking at 10 meters, because that's Carrier's range that he'll attack enemies at and then i put sinister reach on and he didn't begin attacking at 22 meters he started attacking at 10 meters again sinister reach on the weapon doesn't make the sentinel increase the range of what it will begin attacking so don't think that it works that way because you are modding the weapon here not the sentinel so 100 percent chance to proc some status effects. Now, fire is a little bit higher because the base value of cold that comes from Cryotra, if I take the mods out, as you can see, I have a base value of 10. So fire actually has the higher chance of procking when I proc my status effect. The issue with this is that while I have a 100% chance to proc a status, you know, I, I could be procking Firewall on top of Firewall, which does nothing. I need to proc Firewall and Radiation, but it is very consistent in procking both with a single beam, which will prime Condition Overload with two status effects before I even attack the enemy. Now, keep in consideration that I have these two status effects coming from my Sentinel, in this case my Moa, 
I will have Corrosive coming from Exalted Blade being the third, and then Blast being the fourth, and because Blast counts as two, I get five. So let's take this one out into the field. Let's get my little mower over here. There's my two status effects with a single beam, and then it's completely deleted. That was a level 160 Corrupted Heavy Gunner. And you can see the idiocy of Condition Overload. I did notice that I have Pause AI on, actually. We'll go here and get my two status effects, and then we'll go out and we can see that it still does not matter. Now, there could be an entire group of level 160 gunners there, and we'll actually do that. If we go here and type in gunner, and get, let's say we'll get eight of them, spawn them in. Now we can see punch through in action as well, and the idiocy that punch through gives us. So we block all of this, heal ourselves up a little bit with some healing. There we go. Oh, there goes to my mind ability, my boy, he's done it. He's so proud of himself, and he should be, because he also used one of the precepts that come with the power model head for mowers, being the Whiplash Mine. It's basically a mini Vortex from Forbin. It will group them in. From what I saw there, it also applied an impact <laughs> status effect on them, so that was just... Why is he circling me? So that's just giving me even more damage. Punch Through does work on Cryotra. A lot of the time... Uh, I'm going to hit two enemies with a single beam, three enemies with a single beam, that's going to put fire all on everything, radiation on everything. It's just going to snowball unnecessary amounts of damage into Exalted Blade for no reason. And it's not just Exalted Blade, it's any melee weapon that can make use of a status or a hybrid build that uses Condition Overload. Why is he circling me? Now, the Exalted Blade build itself and the Excalibur build I'm not going to go into. That is for a different video. This was just showcasing that you can prime Condition Overload extremely effectively with a Sentinel weapon. Everybody knows this. Everybody that has Condition Overload or knows of Condition Overload thinks how can I get as many status effects efficiently on a target while killing them. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this one informative. If you did or if you enjoyed the video in general, please feel free to leave a like and or subscribe because I am trying to grow the channel out now with more Warframe content. Thanks for watching again guys and I'll see you next time.